Oh, hey, hello, I've been alert on the north side. I didn't sound very alert when I said that. Anyway, alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where entertainment explains it. Comic book review Avengers number 11. Interesting symmetry concerning that book with other events in other books. We don't want to give too much away too soon uh and i really want to get off into the meat and potatoes of this so we're gonna go ahead and dive in because i'm excited to dive into it and before we do what we want to do we got to do what we need to do and what we need to do comment like subscribe and share the beaver with the real page so that when new material comes out you get it if you dig it what a brother shoveling put some dirt in my bucket comment like subscribe and share because entertainment is what I do. And I'm going to do it by giving you the skinny on this book right here. This is the cover of the most recent issue of Avengers. Number 11, Jim McKay. Um, Jim McKay run uh Art by Ivan Fiorelli. Wasn't really initially that crazy about it, but it's growing on me. Um, notice the centerpiece in the image is Jarvis. Good old Edwin Jarvis. I always liked Jarvis. Now, harking back, if you are a fan of the Avengers, if you are a fan of George Perez, then you can never forget this image right here. Look, another Avengers book where Jarvis is front and center. Today, you're going to see how these two books connect. Entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. All right. And we kicks off. Bam, boom. Bitch number 11, Jim McKay, Ivan Fiorelli. Group of super villains known as the Ashen Combine launched a multi city attack on Earth after the Avengers defeated the villains. They learned that the Ashen Combine sentient fortress, the Impossible City, had been forced into service after its original creators, a group of now forgotten heroes, disappeared. The Impossible City then accepts the Avengers' offer to become the newest member of the team and has been serving as their headquarters. But the remaining unsolved mysteries surrounding the Impossible City are plentiful. So we are wanting to sow a seed of suspicion with this story. Suspicion and surprise in the form of, oh my goodness, that's the mad thinker. Okay. And as we look at the mad thinker, we need to remember that's in retrospect. Here's where we at. This is where our story begins. You know, inside of the Impossible City slash Avengers headquarters, partner, however you want to look at it. Um, and they are discussing. The fact that, you know, Carol didn't want the uh, headquarters to become no prison or no police depot, you know, none of that. But the Ash and Combine were being, you know, incarcerated there. So there's the back and forth banter about that. Um, and then we start talking about prisons and how prisons are. And, you know, I don't want to make it sound, you know less important but you know just to you know put it in your mind like ding there you go uh there is a lot of mistreatment going on there are a lot of terrible things going on now let's move on with the story and they move on to talk about orcus orcus the mutant hating mutant depressing mutant you Want a name if it's bad happening to a mutant? Orcus is with it in the name of some other crap. 
But the Avengers are about to put their style of solution on Orcus. And Tony Stark is spearheading that. I am going to pick that up because I want to see what the Avengers do to him or what the Avengers get done to him. Either way, I think it's going to be an epic book. Now, here are all the Avengers together and Jarvis slides in the room. And Jarvis now has an assistant named Mr. Sweeney. Does Mr. Sweeney look familiar to y'all? All right, don't even worry about it. So here we go. Mr. Sweeney walks in with Mr. Jarvis, and he's looking a little peaky there down at the bottom of the page. He 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 said he had some corned beef. Hmm, let's monitor that. Yeah. Jarvis, okay, dude, big. He got Jarvis. He putting he put Mr. Sweeney to work, huh? And he's letting him know, you know, you got to do your job around here because we, it is our job to relieve the lives of the people who are trying to protect the lives of the lives to make those lives more wonderful. I'm paraphrasing, of course. This exchange right here, one of the brightest spots in this book. T'Challa is trying, he sounds like he is truly trying to make amends as if he needed to, but he's trying to make amends with his fellow Avengers in his own way, except Sam. But, <laughs> but, um, Thor just kind of, you know, busts his balls for a second and then tells him, hey, kings don't apologize to kings. Understanding between equals. Say less. You know what I'm saying? Thor, who y'all usually looking for for the dummy response, is the one kicking knowledge. <laughs> Surprise. Who the thunk it? Okay, impossible the impossible city has arms. Um and Jarvis has a recipe for Utica greens that he is teaching the impossible, basically just showing the impossible city how to do stuff. And then there at the bottom of the page, we see where we know Mr. Sweeney from. He got his ass kicked by Jarvis back in the day. And, and, and I'll show y'all a little bit of that at the, at the end uh, 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 of this here um, reading or review, whatever you want to call it, read and review. <laughs> um, my man, Mr. Sweeney, threw up because of some well-placed uh, microtech or nanotech or whatever you want to call it um, in uh, Mr. Sweeney's corned beef sandwich. And here comes the manslayer cohort Delta, and and and, and it's going to be more than one of them, is what I assume. Because, you know, it's the mad thinker. Mad thinker does mad thinker shit. You know what I mean? And, 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 and sure enough, we're going to divert for a second. But here is another little dialogue I enjoy, you know, where Wanda and Vision could talk. And it didn't have nothing to do with Vision. Like, oh, I'm yearning for you, Wanda. And Wanda, like, oh, I miss you so much, Vision. You know, they was cool with it. Nice little exchange, you know, little, little gentle ribbing, little joking right there. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, okay, I, I like that. I like that. You know, and then they're interrupted by the Impossible City who tells them, um... <laughs> Mr. Swindy threw up some, some android assassins. Uh, we're going to need some Avenger and done. And that is uh, precisely what is needing to be done. Because like I said, there they are multiplying. And um, they spout weird things like all powerful creature of biochemical and electronic perfection. Plastic perfection. Weird. But just in time, the battle is joined and the Avengers is spanking that ass. Okay, as we see, 
Mr. Sweeney's kind of getting his stuff together. And Jarvis is pissed off that uh, Mr. Sweeney was uh, weaponized via subpar diner food. That's what you get for eating that crap tactical crap. Okay. Jarvis is getting ready to go on a mission. Him and Mr. Sweeney, it looks like. While the rest of the Avengers handle these androids. I mean, rest of the Avengers. Oh, goodness. That was, that, that was terrible. That looked terrible, didn't it? Oh, my goodness. Let's go back. That that thing combined into one big giant monster. Oh goodness. Yeah. Well, see the mad thinker. I guess I guess the mad thinker is just somebody you got to deal with with a team. Has anybody ever solo battled the mad thinker before? Yo, drop it in the comments if y'all remember. Anywho. Wow, Sam gets his moment. You know, it is a team book after all. I forgot he was here. <laughs> anyway. There go Mr. Jarvis. They talking about beating up on a super nerd because they got the coordinates and they know where to go to go get this cat. Or the mad thinker, shall we say. But anyway, as we know, or as we may not know, um, the Impossible City does not have any internal defenses, only external ones. So forward to that. There's everybody about to push him smooth out of the impossible city. And out of the impossible city, he is pushed where he becomes particle beam target practice. Or it. And it's blown into a bunch of pieces. In which T'Challa says somebody got to go out there and clean it up. I ain't doing it. Hey, I might as well have, you know, let them know how you felt. <laughs> let them know. I ain't cleaning it up. Okay. Y'all got a job to send a Sweeney for that. Anywho, uh, speaking of Jarvis and Sweeney down there at the bottom, they find the mad thinker. Oh, oh. exit that situation mad thinker is tied up and he's learning how to write with his feet and we find out that all of that foolishness was for one reason and one reason only he knows where the ashy combine is and where they're confined and now he just wants to bust them out but he's got to learn how to uh-oh and he ain't got nothing but time in there right Sinister future thought. Meanwhile, the Utica Greens burned. Aw. Anyway, that next issue is a House of X crossover or fall of the House of X crossover. They dealing with orchids, like I told you before. And as you learned, Mr. Sweeney uh, uh, has joined the myriad number of characters who used to be an enemy of the Avengers, kind of enemy of Jarvis, uh, to become an ally. See all of that action there? See all that? So here we go. We'll start right here. Jarvis walking down the street. We find out here's Mr. Sweeney bullying everybody over here in the Bronx where uh, uh, Jarvis's mama stay. And so he was going to, you know, take care of some business for his mama. And we found out this cat's out here bullying folks, you know. And uh, Jarvis come back like, look here, sir. Um, I got these hand skills because I used to box in the Royal Air Force and, and, and put it on. You know what I'm saying? And then when he got dirty with it, you know, he had to learn some stuff. He 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 learned from Captain America. He had to employ them techniques. You know what I mean? So go jar, go. You know what I mean? That and and then later on, uh uh, uh it, it, it's one of the moments where like a crowd of people come in and 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 and, 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 and ameliorate the situation. You know what I mean? That 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 that. 
that kind of a thing. That 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 kind of a thing right there. So that right there was Avengers number eleven. How y'all feeling about it? Uh, let me know in the comments what you thinking about. You know, Impossible City. What do you think the Impossible City is really up to something, or is the Impossible City truly? You know, trying to make that cast a move and you know make that change for the better or whatever. Um, either way, you know, holler at me in the comments, like, comment, subscribe, and share. You know what I'm saying? But that's it for now. And fret not, though. I'll be coming at you with another one of the other ones. And until I do, yo, y'all be good. Be good to each other.